internal rotation, RDL. And so if you've done a normal RDL, that's where if you, on both legs, you're just here and you hinge the hip, hips back. And so this isn't a squat, you're just pushing your hips back. Now the difference for an internal rotation row, you're gonna stagger, lean to one side, and then rotate your pelvis towards the side that's underneath you. And so from here, you're still just pushing those hips back. Three, four, five. And then now we're gonna switch to the other side, lean over, rotate that pelvis towards, you're rotating the pelvis towards this knee that you're going towards, and then push back. Two, three, four, five. All right? Into the internal rotation RDL for our first muscular endurance movement. If you've done the bodyweight warm-up, you already know how to do these. If you haven't, take a split stance, shift over to one leg, take your pelvis, rotate it towards that leg you're on, and then you're going to drive your butt back and do that hip hinge RDL. If you've got dumbbells or bands or anything on this hand that's opposite from the knee you're coming over, you want to hold it in that hand right there because that's going to activate the oblique on this side, and that's the oblique. So this stresses a lot of the musculature that is active during your uh, loading phase of gait. And so um, the oblique that's active during the loading phase is the same side oblique. So if you have the dumbbell on the opposite hand, that oblique's having to work to keep your side up. So that's just something. If you've got dumbbells or bands, make sure you're holding it with the opposite side. 